We're going to begin with the base card structure. My color palette is the 2013-15 color collection. And this way I don't have to think too much about coordination. So I've got my pistachio pudding. I actually do mark it on the inside, so I've got it positioned exactly when I run it through the big shot. Now I'm going to come back, and I want to do the panel that goes in the front, which ultimately will look like this. So the easiest way to do that, if you place the save framelit, back into this spot, it actually wants to stay exactly where it needs to be. Then take a piece of cardstock, the color that you want that front panel, place it in the back, and the only thing is that you have edge to edge, top to bottom. Once again, position that perfectly, and then once that window is cut out, you can trim it to the width you want. In this case, it's three inches wide, top to bottom. And the last thing you're going to want to cut out is a coordinating color that's going to be end up going on the inside of your card. And then run it through your embossing folder. This modern mosaic embossing folder. And while you're at your big shot, uh, cut out some coordinating color butterflies. So you'll have those ready for your focal point. And then the next thing I'm going to do before I actually start assembling anything is I'm going to random stamp color on color uh, some mosaics. So I've got my Mosaic Madness stamp set. I've picked out a few. And I'm just going to stamp break, uh, kind of randomly. I think I'll keep them all straight up and down, both on this panel and on the pistachio green. And then we'll get back. After you're through stamping, go ahead and adhere this, adhere this front panel to the front of your base card. Now you're ready to work on your focal point. So take this dry embossed image, go ahead and pop it right in there. And then if you've got your butterflies, layer them and add whatever you want to them. The only restriction at this point is that they stay within this window. You can't have anything sticking out because obviously this blue piece will be attached to the back of your card or the inside of your card. So I'm going to position that butterfly there. And I just got zots on these. And I put a pipe cleaner for a body there so I can have some antenna on this guy. And also this way I don't have to use a dimensional because the pipe cleaner gives me plenty of lift. So I've got that. Now you want to decide whether you want to put something here. There's enough room where you can actually emboss your salutation. I've opted to construct a ribbon. I just went through my inventory and found something that would work. And that's a wide ribbon. That's about 7 eighths. Now you want to take a look at it. I have to have a salutation down here, and I'm going to use Happy Birthday in three colors. But it'd be a shame if you have the punch not to use something with your mosaics, which I'm going to do. If you don't have the punch, the other thing you could do is take up more space by actually putting another layer of framelit. Anyway, I'm going to finish this up and leave you with the finished photographs. Thank you for watching.